Hello and welcome back to my garden. Today we're going to be transplanting tomatoes. So let's get started. So today I'm going to transplant the tomatoes that I grew in my uh, Cocoa Core DE experiment. They're quite tall and a little leggy and uh, they're looking a little neglected because they have been. Um, so I finally decided to pull them out of my laundry room and put them in their permanent homes. Now I have not hardened these off and I don't normally recommend doing that. However, these are going to go into pots and I can sit those pots underneath my patio and I'm going to let them sit in the shade for a few days before I put them out in full sun. So here's one of the pots uh, that my tomatoes will be going into and in this is a combo of um, potting soil, cow manure, as well as used coffee grounds that I had my local Starbucks save for me. I also added some rock dust and kelp meal. And at the very bottom of the planting hole, I am going to add an egg and that's, you know, these are expired so I don't mind giving these up to the cause. I'm going to add an egg and I'm going to add two crushed aspirin. And these are basic aspirin, non-coated. Uh, they don't have uh, caffeine or um, acetaminophen. It's just pure aspirin. And the reason why I'm going to add that to the bottom of my planting hole is because um, aspirin will kick in the tomato's uh, immune system. And hopefully it'll make the tomato stronger and hardier and healthier against diseases and pests. So, here we go. So down below you can see the egg. It's kind of half hidden. And if you can see the little white granules around the eggs, that's mycorrhiza. And I'm adding that to the roots of my tomato plants so um, the mycorrhiza can attach to the roots and allow for better nutrient uptake to the tomato. And here, and before I forget, I'm going to add my two crushed aspirins, put my tomato on top, and now I'm going to cover with more um, potting soil and manure. Here's my little guy, I'll pot it up. And you can see I planted them pretty deeply. And that's because um, wherever the little hairs that are sticking out of the tomato touches the ground or the soil, it will sprout new roots. And this will make the, uh, will give the tomato a larger, healthier root system as well. And you can see I didn't fill it up to the top. So as the tomato gets larger, I'll backfill with more soil. And again, allow it to grow more roots. All right, so eight tomatoes, or eight tomato plants later, and one sweaty hot mess, and that would be me. They're all transplanted. And the way I'm gonna keep track of whether or not they were sprouted in diatomaceous earth or cocoa core is the first ones would be um, diatomaceous earth and core. That's my taxi, it was the only one that sprouted. Uh, it sprouted in diatomaceous earth, the one in core did not. And I'm not gonna say that that was because of the core or the diatomaceous earth, it, it just could have been the seed. Then I have uh, Glacier NDE, Glacier Core, and uh, Subarctic DE and Subarctic Core, and you can and you can still you can see a difference even after I transplanted them um, into solo cups. You can see how they've grown. Now I'm just going to give everybody a quick drink of water, and I'm going to call it a day. But before I do that. I want to show you what's happening in my side yard. So let's go take a look. Ta-da! Here's my side yard. And this happened to be a project we did a couple of days ago. And it looks infinitely better. I'm so tired of seeing dirt and weeds. So I'm really enjoying this spot. But you can see that my bed is winding down for the summer. And there used to be a huge tomato plant here, and one here, 
and one on the other side of this uh, cucumber and then the very last one which would be my uh, yellow pear. So we pulled out all the tomato plants and I don't know if you remember but I had black crim clones which are basically suckers that I had pulled off the black crim and one was here and it's, it was right next to the um, side of the raised bed and the other one was suckered here again right next to the side of the raised bed so I pulled them up and I moved them to a better place and I uh, dug them deeply into the bed and then I added a bottomless pot and basically all this is is a water jug I cut the bottom and the top off put it around the plant and added more soil and uh, remember what I said a little bit ago about what wherever the little um, hairs that are sticking out of the tomato when it's touching dirt, it should grow more roots because I want to give it a very healthy start. So right there I've got some lettuce growing. But here is my yellow pear. And I just uh, I cut it down. It used to be tall. It used to go above these eight foot poles. I cut them down and I trimmed it out because I want to see if I can get these to overwinter or if not overwinter last as long as they can through the fall and beginning of winter and there's a ton of new growth shooting up here. So I'll keep you posted on all the tomatoes and let you know how they go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.